that's me. <laughs> I'm actually here live, so you don't have to see a picture of me. All right, so uh, let's talk a little bit about the product. Um, Roy, thank you a lot. I really appreciate uh, being here. Um, this is my second trip to the Netherlands. However, my first trip where I've seen miniature horses, free-range chickens, deer, and windmills all on my commute from my hotel to the conference center. Pretty incredible, um, great place. Thank you for, uh, for having us here. So let's talk um, briefly about um, our most recent release, uh, Magento Enterprise 113. Uh, Magento Enterprise 113 was focused primarily around performance and scalability. It's all about making sure that our retailers have the technology at their disposal to run their business in the fastest, most efficient way possible. We refactored indexing, really worked on the consumer buying experience to make it as fast as possible, ensuring that the retailers can get the most out of the hardware that they have today, really increasing their total cost of ownership. And of course, last but not least, is improving the quality of the application and ensuring that it is a bug-free system, or as close to possible. So let's um, dive right in, and let's talk about indexing. The indexing um, changes that we made are really focused, again, around removing manual tasks that the merchants had to do. Things like full re-indexing of the entire site. We have changed the behavior of the application so that full indexing is, um, the needs to do full indexing is dramatically reduced. Indexing has moved to a background process, and that background process runs in a queue, ensuring that changes that are made in the application get published to the live site without impacting the consumer or shopper experience. Let's talk a little bit about some of the stats around the changes that we made to indexing, because this is what really matters to the retailers. This is what matters to the people supporting the application. When a full index is required, the index now completes at 83% times faster than it did in the past. We brought a configuration into our lab environment um, in our development center. And we took a million products that are configurable, and we ran that full index across both 1.12 and 113. And you see 1.12 almost six hours, and we reduced the time for full index to uh, just under an hour with a million configurable products within the system. However, we know that the full indexing is only required now in a limited subset. So what we wanted to do is ensure that we did the performance benchmarking with the actual updates that merchants do most often, changing content within the product catalog, changing prices. What we did in 112 was for changing 20 products, it took an approximately 84 minutes for that change to be re-indexed and be published live to the site. That change where you change 20 products within your application, your catalog, now those 20 products are published to your site in as little as four seconds. So dramatically reducing the overall time it takes in order to make a change and get that change live into, into a production environment. Another big change that we made, slides are having a little bit of a challenge coming up. Another big change that we made was really around caching. Caching in version 112 and prior had some fundamental challenges with it. In 112, when caching was in place, what happened was when you change a particular product, pretty much the entire catalog, the entire website would have to be re-indexed from a caching standpoint and recached. That, of course, means that any changes that you make, you basically are in a con continuous cycle of that cache having to be refreshed. In, uh, in 113, what we did is we input the idea of tags into the application so that now any changes that happen to a particular product page, only those items and only those pages where the particular item has changed are recached. So we've dramatically changed the caching algorithms so that now only those things that are changed are in a process to be recached. So what that does is it dramatically increases the performance of the consumer site. So let's walk through um, some examples of not only with the indexing changes, but these caching changes, as well as some other fundamental changes we made around checkout to increase the overall uh, site speed and performance. 
in our labs, we took a standard merchant configuration, a two plus one, with an average of 50,000 visitors a day, and we placed about 18,000 orders um, through that particular system in a given day. What we've done is we benchmarked product browsing, the add to cart functionality, as well as the time to place the actual complete order from shopping cart all the way to order confirmation page. We saw a 65% increase in page performance in our lab environment using Magento 113 versus 112. A lot of the changes that we put in place around caching, around the checkout flow, as well as some bugs that were fixed within the system really dramatically increased the performance of the application. Also, what we realized that with this dramatically increased performance of the system, you can handle a much greater load. And by handling a much greater load, you're better utilizing the hardware that you already have in place. With the same existing hardware that existed in a 112 environment, with 113, that same exact configuration is now able to process approximately 33% more orders in a given day, having a much greater utilization of the hardware, and of course saving time and money for the retailer. So this was all done in our lab environment, but that wasn't enough for us. So we went out, we worked with a partner, NBS and AdFab, to help us actually do a simulation of a real live customer site and ensuring that we actually have live traffic that was recorded that we can push back through the system in order to test out the performance changes from 1.9, what that would look like in 1.12, as well as 1.13. So one of our merchants uh, in France allowed us to use their real traffic data that was captured over a period of time. We captured that traffic data and then we allowed the system to replay that in an automated test fashion so that we could actually see the performance increase of the system using real live data as opposed to using something that's done via complete script. What we did is we were able to see that the difference between 1.9 and 1.13 on the home page. The home page took over two seconds to load in 1.9. In 1.13, that's under a second, under a half a second, 0 0.08 seconds for the home page to load. A dramatic in increase in performance by doing nothing more than installing the newer version of the software. The same goes across the product page as well as the checkout flow. Six seconds for the checkout flow is from add to cart all the way to order confirmation page, and you see that we're doing this with a vast number of concurrent users going through the system. This also translates directly into the number of visitors that the application can serve. So we took in um, the same uh, browser and buyer behavior, and we replicated that up to, um, I forget exactly what the CPU utilization was, but up to about 90% CPU, CPU utilization, I believe. And the browsing of the catalog, we are now able to serve close to 800,000 customers in a given day versus you know, close to 200 or so in uh, previous versions. So the entire system performs at a much, much greater level now with the version 113 in place. So with our customer, and our partners, we were able to see that using the exact same hardware that was in place for version 1.9, version 1.13, they're able to see a dramatically increase in number of visitors that they can be supported, support their peak loads much at a gr much greater time, as well as have a much greater order volume flowing through the system. In 1.13, we also made a tremendous number of changes throughout the rest of the application to improve the quality. We have changes in almost every aspect of the product, from taxation to payments, to checkout, to the actual customer control center. All of these areas were done in conjunction with our community, and I wanna say thank you to all those that participated. We had two events. We had one event in LA, and we had one event in Zurich. All of the changes that were made during those customer events in our community were put into place and are made available in our community edition, version 1.8 and we will continue to um, provide opportunities for our community to contribute into the code and make those available as part of our application. So let's move um, from our current code base onto our next version of our code base, Magento 2. As Roy mentioned, um, we've seen tremendous growth of Magento over the years. 
Um, we've got 150,000 merchants, and as you might imagine, with over 150,000 merchants, we get a lot of feedback, we get a lot of input, we get a lot of requests, and we get a lot of demands. Um, what we're trying to do with Magento 2 is encapsulate those demands, those requests, those feedbacks, and to help us understand what those needs are and to develop a product that meets the needs of our customer base, not only today, but go forward. So there's a few areas that we're focusing on for Magento 2. Let me walk you through a number of those. The first is the consumer experience of the actual admin on the back end. We realize that not only developers are utilizing the back end system for Magento. Merchants are using it, business users are using it, so we're spending a fair amount of time updating the user experience of the back end so that it is easier to use. You don't have to get a, you know, a business user to come in, spend weeks and weeks of training in order to use the application. So we're updating the back end, adding products, configuring products, changing content, really improving the user experience, not only from the shopper side, but also obviously from the merchant um, facing side. We're updating the entire stack to be much more up to date with current industry trends and technology, CSS5, or excuse me, CSS3, HTML5, and the entire application from front end to back end now utilizing jQuery for its JavaScript library, both on the admin side as well as the consumer side. On the consumer side, we'll hail, we will have a new default theme and reference implementation that is responsive design by default that will work across browsers, as well as a dramatically improved checkout flow to ensure that you are able to leverage and adopt best in class, best in industry um, techniques and examples for your checkout flow. One other very major change that we're making um, to the system is really the interaction at the application layer for developers, systems integrators, and of course our industry partners. Today the application is incredibly flexible. But with that flexibility comes some challenge. Some of those challenges are even some of the best extensions can conflict with one another very, very easily. Also, it's, it's relatively difficult to leverage different components within, an within the application because dependencies are not clearly defined and or not clearly understood by the application itself. So we're focused really in three core areas. Separation of business logic from the presentation layer really ensuring that the presentation layer is exactly that, presentation and not business logic, really making the components within the application modular, really defining very clear boundaries between components of the application so that they can stand alone and much more easily be interacted with from third-party applications or put in place a different CMS if you so desire. And the last is really ensuring that we've got our standards in place from a web API standpoint and have much greater coverage across the entire application for access to it, by it, by the APIs. So that you as a merchant, you as a partner, you as a developer can interact with the application via standard-based APIs um, in the system. We believe that all of those things combined from the user experience on the merchant side to the buyer shopper experience to the update of the technology stack to really including a much better, well-defined application architecture in the back end, will continue to excel this platform forward for the next five years, just as it has for the last five. So we think that combining the platform, the extensions, together with our community, that really does empower our merchants to succeed in the space. And with that, I think I'm turning it back to Roy, is that correct? Uh-oh. Thank you, guys.